The Underdark has a mi- The prisoners made it back, and every one of them is singing your praises. I've sent them topside. They'll need time to recover from their ordeal. From what they've told me, Mandrick was moved to another drow camp, the Zalaran outpost. That's our next target. I'd hope Mandrake Deepwise will be amongst the prisoners you rescued. Mandrake is something of a legend in the guild. Normally, I'd say it's a shame to lose another guide and get over it. But Mandrake, he doesn't get taken without a fight. The drow must know his value. If I were them, I'd take him for interrogation. Invade the Zolaran outpost, kill any drow that stand in your way, and bring Mandrake Deepwise back to us.
Wait! <laughs> Don't let me out! They, they did something to me! Put something in my head! And I can feel it growing! I've kept it together in case someone came looking for me! But I'm as good as dead! Oh, heed this warning! The drow are working with the Mind Flayers on some kind of plan! Oh, listen! I managed to take some poison off the gods! I'm going to end it on my own terms! But you! Need to get out of here and warn the others! Don't look back! The Underdark had... I can't believe it. Deepwise is lost to us. But we'll heed his warning. If the Drow are working with the Illithids, we have to find out more. And I think I know just the person to help you investigate further. The presence of an Illithid, a Mind Flayer, in a Drow settlement boat's no good for anyone. We already know the Drow are receiving weapons from the Duragar who work the nearby mines. Normally the Drow do not see the Duragar as fit for anything but slavery, but I begin to suspect the Grey Dwarves are already enslaved to an even more deadly foe. We have guides keeping watch over the Duragar mines. Make your way there and look for Jasper Steel. He'll fill you in on anything he's learned. Sure, they're slaves, but even free, they're filled with hate. Davlin sending reinforcements, huh? Oh, good. Events down here just keep getting more and more interesting. The Drow are receiving Durgar made weapons in exchange for guarding the entrance to the mines. <laughs> Seems like House Solarin is trying to rebuild its strength after their failed attack on the surface world. Durgar weapons and armor will go a long way toward accomplishing that goal. The Drow have sent some of their high-ranking priestesses to handle the details of the payment and oversee the transfer. I'd like you to bust up these meetings and make sure the participants don't live to tell the tale. Just imagine what some real dwarves could make of this place. The Duragar mining and foraging operations are going full tilt. That's bad news for the guild and for the surface world. The rot ore is coming from deep shafts down below, and the Durga got a bit of batch of cranes to help them lift it to these levels. Well, at those cranes, the ore will have to be hauled up on the backs of the miners. It'll mean a big hit to their efficiency. All you really have to do is destroy the witching mechanism that operates a crane, and you send the whole thing crashing down to the bottom of the pit.
That's news to brighten my day. With any luck, the Drow will blame their missing emissaries on Durgar treachery. Suspicion rules the day with those two races. Now we should see about busting up another partnership. Good for you, taking out those crates. <laughs> You'll do the dirt, got a good to pick a heavy load up a few thousand feet of twisted tunnels. Oh, I wish I could have been there or seen the looks on their faces when those lift platforms came crashing down. <laughs> My sister has a real unflinching hatred of the Durga. But I have to admit, they still have the dwarven knack for working men. That's why the Drow have made a deal with them. They want the quality weapons and armor the Grey Dwarves can provide. We're gonna need to better equip the guild if we'll be taking on the Karadak. Last it squids. If you gather up some of the weapon components and alloys the Durgar are turned out, I'll see that you're rewarded for it. You'll likely find the components near forges in the Crucible, and some of the Durgar are sure to be carrying them as well. Poor Mandrake's revelation about Mind Flayer involvement confirms a report I got from Holly Tinkerstone, one of our scouts. She claimed that squid-headed monsters were overseeing the Durgar operation in the Crucible. Maybe you should head over there and bring down a Mind Flayer overseer. With any luck, we can nip this plot in the bud 